Danger! This is an episode of Dead Space. Hello everybody, and welcome back to Dead Space. I just came up with a title for... So if you watch, so when you watched the last video, you noticed that the title is actually a title I just thought up of when I was sitting here. The Jitterbug. The Jitterbug. Because of the guys that have the, the jittery heads. Just came up with that. Who gives a fuck what I think? Uh, I'm annoying. Let's go ahead and load the game. Because uh, you don't want to listen to me talk, you want to watch the uh, the game get played, so that's what we're going to do. Chapter 10, End of Days. Chapter 10, Zero G Basketball, as I promised. That'll be the title of this video. Zero G BB. B-Ball. Play a round. We'll play a round of Zero G Basketball. We're not going to sit and play the whole... Uh, uh, tr trust me. You get the achievement, you have to like play the game. You have to get like a certain amount of points. You have to play the... Hold on. Shit. All right. <laughs> Almost like 10 years ago, guys. Ha! I'm just doing a let's play of this game now. Isaac, I've located the shuttle Hammond found. <laughs> ah, shit. No good. That shuttle's brain dead. Someone removed the navigation hey. cards. God knows why. Like There's three of them scattered around the deck. I'm downloading their locations. I can't access the doors from here, so you'll need a crew key. If you can find those parts, I think we can get that shuttle operational again. Really? Really? Okay. Line gun ammo! Listen, I don't care what you gotta do. I just wanna get the fuck out of here. Alright. So, these, by the way, are all the lovely individuals. You don't want to call them dickheads, because they're dead, and you don't want to make fun of the dead, do you? These are all the lovely, lovely people that uh, are part of the Church of Unitology, and uh, they'll strap bags around their fucking heads so that the little alien thing come and poke holes in their, in their brains and turn them into goo babies. And there's the uh, Twinkle Twinkle theme from the trailer. All right, what posters we got? Shaolin versus Space Ninja, Zero G Insanity. I saw it, it was fantastic. Um, everybody see it. Uh, Kitty Kitty Bang Bang, almost like a James Bond in space film. Uh, it was decent, seven out of 10. Um, hot Duo, Crime Was Their Passion. This was, um, this was about two women who were in love and they they robbed banks and it was not that great. It was more of a romance film. Bronson Fuel Cakes, delicious, eat them. Uh, feel, it's just tits. Virtual concert though on June uh, 11th, which I never ended up getting to see. Now, you wanna talk about our, a sick ass movie, Rancid Moon. This was basically Dead Space the film right here. It was, it, but it was zombies though. Zombie spacemen on the moon. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I know there were people who were like, it's a little, it's a little, you know, like people were like, it's copying Dead Space. Come on, you gotta tone it, you know. Fuck them, fuck them all. Uh, La La, sh I don't even know what that is. I'm not gonna try to come up with something for that. Um, in Rancid Moon, such a good film. By the way, I've not seen any of these. I'm just a liar. <laughs> a bad one. <laughs> Saw that Diamond Semiconductor for twenty five thousand. Ridiculous. Yeah, we're just gonna keep all this. We're gonna keep all those. But we are, however, gonna buy. 
Shut up, don't tell me how much I have. By three more nodes. Sleep so this is sleep box C. I know we're supposed to go up the elevator. We're gonna come through here first. We will actually we will actually need Hey! Finish your dinner. Uh, we are gonna actually have to come back through here and go into seat block C, but... I promised. I did say, I promised. TOG basketball. That's so it. So all these lockers are the prizes you get. Or no, they're the, these lockers are the prizes you get. Level 5 suit schematic, nice. Uh, I think there's a text log in here for the 0D basketball rules. Yes. Uh, Z-ball rules. Step on the light platform and activate to start the game. Jump to as many scoring platforms as possible. Increase your score multiplier. Then use Kinesis mo um, your Kinesis module to grab the ball and shoot it to the active basketball before the shot timer runs out. Beating each level opens a locker with rewards inside. So, yeah. Um, basically, the object of the game is to get like the highest score. Duh. Oh, it's these lockers. Never mind. I'm a fucking moron. One of the- all the lockers! Um, so... Basically, the idea is to... Entering zero gravity. You want to jump to these different platforms, and... When you jump to the platforms, your multiplier increases. Um... So you want to be kind of quick about it. Um, I- If I remember correctly, the platforms light up, I believe? That's a nav card. Listen, all I want to do... Please wait. There we go. You can shoot them in the little baskets, I believe, if you want. Do it. Kobe! <laughs> that was so good. Maybe that's what I'll just name this episode. Kobe! Alright, ready? Two for two. Kobe! Where'd the third one go? Oh. Can we can we do a three for three? Top, 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 uh, top right. Let's do it. Oh no. Oh, baby. Oh. Oh! Is it gonna happen? Is it Oh! It's just it didn't go far enough. Damn. Alright, well, it's whatever, you know. Um, there we go. So yeah, basically you just start it. Starting game, level one. And then it shoots out a basketball, see? And then you grab the basketball, like this. Like this! Son of a bitch. Why isn't it grabbing it? Oh, it's because I had that. So yeah, and then you just, uh, you shoot it. Just like that, and then it'll spit it out. I like jump to another one like this. See, as you can see on your back right there, you have like that multiplier. Shot. That was a rim shot right there. Woo! Thank you. 
just uh, it's in the game. You just uh, shoot it. And, um, you don't get a point, but it's whatever. I got 18 points. So there's there's six levels. You have to beat level six. Trust me when I say that it gets a lot a lot harder. Um, it, that was the one. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, I the shooting gallery didn't take me because. The shooting gallery, I had this gun. I had the speed kills. Um, I had the speed kills plasma cutter. But the zero-g basketball, there's no... Sorry, I was interrupted. There was no weapon that could uh, improve that. So it was really a game that was all skill. Um, it took me a long time to do, because it's, it, you just have to make sure that you get rid of all the dead-ass bodies, and you gotta make it pure, and it's, you gotta be quick, and... Let's go ahead and do you here. <laughs> Anybody else want to talk? Uh, sorry, I, I lost how to, the ability to speak English. Um, does, anybody, does anybody else want to wrestle? Is what I was gonna say. Did I? No. Okay. Get rid of some of these med packs here. Specifically, these ones. Is my stasis recharged? I don't think that there's a there's a way to recharge your stasis. I think you just have to use it. I'll leave the health. Alright. So this door is unlocked, but we can't actually go in there yet. Like in in there. Oh, text log. Unitology article. All right, here you go. This is, if you're ready to hear about the most crazy shit ever, here we go. United we ascend. Is Unitology a new hope or just another scam? Uh, spoiler alert, it's literally both. By Carrie Van Otken. If you've been living on Mars for the past 200 years, you might have missed the, hey, stop calling out Martian people, all right? Can we just, do that. Mars is like gonna be a new place for all of us to go when Trump destroys the world. <laughs> I don't like to get political. <laughs> when the current president of the United States destroys the world. <laughs> uh, I don't want. I don't want any hate here. Uh, you might have missed the fastest growing religious movement in history. Unitology boasts a following of millions. Uh, like a lot of millions. Like, like I think Dead Space Two. They talk. It's like 15 plus million. I think at least uh, counts powerful CEOs and officials in its ranks. Claims 78 billion with a fucking B of stock in multi-global companies. Billion dollars and owns two of Earth's largest financial institutions, the GPSG Financial and the Unitas Energy Investments, both of which we've never gotten to see in this, in either, in any of the games. From its beginnings as a cult of personnel, cult is right, Unitology has become a respected, mm -hmm, established, mm -hmm, religion. Mm. Most people know the basics. 200 years ago, Michael Altman, a professor of anthropology, blew the whistle on what he claimed was the biggest cover-up ever instituted by Earth government. Discovery of an artifact or marker that they found in Mexico, by the way. No shit. Uh, which proved beyond any doubt that there was alien life in the universe. The government labeled Altman a kook, but his claim struck a chord with some and his mysterious death. He was a martyr. They killed him. The government killed him. Soon afterwards, fueled that interest. Unitologists believe the marker contained a code, the key to eternal life, through rebirth and ascension to heaven. The kicker is you have to die first. Well, everybody, 
please pick up your cups of Kool-Aid. My name is Jim Jones. Good night. They say the government is hiding the marker somewhere, keeping its secrets for themselves. Across all of human space, Unitologists praise Altman's martyrdom and await the day God comes to take them to their new life beyond death. It all sounds pretty harmless, but like any cult, there's a dark side. Unitologists are ranked in the church. Yeah, they're ranked by how much money you give them. So if you're rich, you give them a fuckload of money, you're high up on the rank list. Nobody ever talks about it, but most of its critics believe there are at least three ranks above the average believer or initiate. With each new rank, more of the church's inner workings and research are revealed to a follower, and these ranks are achieved by sim one simple criteria, giving money and power to the church. Think taking all your money's bad? The church also requires members to donate their bodies after death. Why? What do they want with them? Do with them? Nobody will say, what do they want with them? Are they going to fuck them? <laughs> Nobody will say, and attempts to infiltrate the inner circle have failed. With their emphasis on transformation and rebirth, maybe we wouldn't like the answer even if they told us. One rumor that also refuses to die says the church is funding a secret shipbuilding program. Some claim to have seen the fleet. No documentary evidence has ever been supplied, but the claimants all say these mausoleum ships, despite their huge size, and guess what? Those mausoleum ships were built. They're these big ass ships. They're the planet crackers. Because yes, these planet crackers are funded by the Church of Unitology. Of course, their captains are obviously Unitologists themselves, hence Captain Matthias being a Unitologist. And, this, and there's Unitologists all over these ships. It's like the new Christianity. All right, so let's finish up the rig. There we go. Okay, so Kinesis rig and contact beam and plasma cutter are done. We just have the tank line gun and the stasis module, which we're going to do, I think, the stasis module net. I don't know. kind of want to do the line gun, too, because it could use the more power. You know? I mean, it holds six. Oh, boy. What do you claim to win See, and this asshole... This asshole's the Unitologist, too. She had faith. And now she awaits her transformation. Her rebirth. So he stabs those things in their are heads. Are you ready to ascend, Mr. Temple? No, he's not. Of course you are. See, that's Jacob and Temple. No and there's faith. Elizabeth right there. You will play your part soon enough. Witness the conviction of a true believer! Yep. You're insane. You're insane! I'm gonna kill you. Thank you. Embrace them. Yeah, see, he's nuts. See, this is what Unitology gets you. It gets you crazy shit like this. I'm coming in there. I'm gonna fuck you up. And he's gone. Are there any of the other ones we haven't seen? I don't think so. I think we've seen them all. It's like a nice little bar. Oh dear. See, there's Dr. Cross and Jacob Temple. Both of which have been killed by that fucking maniac. That's what that's, that's one of the reasons why I like when it comes to these games, I'm very adamant, like I hate Unitologists. They're the worst ammo wasted on those assholes. I hate, I hate those enemies. I'm glad they never brought them back. They're just the fucking worst. 
But if I didn't want to collect all this shit, I would have just ignored them. As I usually do. Alright, we got a, another node here. You don't scare me, bud. Yep, not doing it for me. All that shit outside. Oh, got this one. So yeah, now we have seven health bars total. There's a half on top and a half on bottom, so we have seven altogether. But you just have more health in general. It's not just how many bars you have. Like, like the the bars. They don't go down as easily as some of the other bar like when you first have like the four Mr. bars. I really must speak with you. I'm very close to your position and and I know you want to hear what I have to say. I can explain all this. But what happened? When you have the nav cards, I'll let you into the security station. We must talk. Hurry. Yep. Dr. Kain wants to talk. He's the one who murdered the captain, but he's really not. like those guys either to be honest with you they they they're one of the reasons I really don't like them is because they're very little reward for a lot of ammo that you spend let's say god bless Give them hope, give them strength. They'll last a bit longer. We are so fucked. All right, so now we can use our disc thing to open this elevator. And uh, we'll go in. Oh shit. That's all the ammo I have for that. That's not good. Yeah, maybe I should break out the contact beam. We got we're, we're starting to stack up ammo for this. The life support system in Fleet Block B has been shut down. You'll have to find an override oh, to get to the No! Door. No, the table! No! The table's attached to me! Oh. Don't fool me. Can't be fooled. Unfoolable. Okay, so now we'll go back. We'll go through here. Yep. Yep. I might die here just basically the fact that I don't have enough ammo. Ah, yeah, we're good. Woo! Thought I was gonna die there because I didn't have enough ammo. I knew that's what gun I needed, but it's like shit, I might not have enough ammo. No.
Warlock overridden. Okay. So now we're going through here. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please yeah, there's no, there's no air in here. try to like pick up fucking ammo too usually I just kind of like blaze through here but I do need to collect ammo life support and climate system malfunction hazardous condition please contact repair specialist that's fully loaded Thank you. Just what I wanted. These guys are really fuck you up. See, look at that. Those guys really fuck you up. Like if you get them full on like that. That's why it's like best to just really avoid them. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Um, is that? No, that's just part of that machine. Okay. And fill the air. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> fucking die from this. I hate these fucking things. Son of a bitch. Not a line gun ammo. Pick up fucking everything, man. Life support and climate system malfunction. Hazardous condition. Please contact repair specialist. Yeah, I fucking knew it. Yeah, you ain't gonna fork anything over either. Chill out, there's oxygen right there. Okay, we're good. I'm out of ammo for two guns. This is just a joy. I'm gonna have to like really start buying some ammo. All right, we should have checked everything else. Okay. So there we go. We've got the uh, the discs. I gotta deal with these bitches. Going back, walking, trudging. By the way, through this shit.
You know what? Fuck these guys. I'm ignoring them. I'm ignoring them because I'm not gonna waste my ammo. They're what's left of my ammo on those assholes. All right, so on the bench, for the line gun, we'll get the capacity. Really, this is what we're doing? We're gonna break through stuff? Harass me? I wanna step on him. Here we go. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fucking step on the bastard. I've done that. I just don't know if they're up here, up there, or down here. So I want to buy some ammo. So I need, I need basically everything. But. And then we'll buy. A power nodes, and then we'll buy a couple contact energies. And then we'll buy some more of that. Okay, and then we'll reload. Reloaded. Okay, so now we'll do the, the line gun still. Let's go ahead and do damage. And then we'll we'll do the mine and then we'll do these next. So we can hit so basically what we can do is we can go to here, here, and then we can do all these and then this. The last damage. Wanna get a little bit of damage in there. Just to had. We should be going. Why are we going down? Oh, that's right. I gotta go to the other block. That's right. As I said earlier, totally forgot. Alright, use the crew key. The reload gets faster on that too, which is actually really nice. It's actually kind of a slow reload. I know it doesn't seem like it, but when you see it reload, like, immediately, like it does when you upgrade it. Oh my god, this guy's blabbing on. This truth is even more fantastic. On the planet below us, we have found a marker. God's plan is unfolding. We are its inheritors. God's plan? Drake? We is that you? As we always knew we would. Your intelligence is true. And your death is the first phase. We deter the physical methods of transformation. Soon, you will be beyond any physical concerns. You must have faith. This is what we have been searching for all these years. This is what we have been waiting for. Don't listen to them. Come back. Come back. Yeah, that guy's a real asshole, and I don't like him at all. <laughs> Woo! Ammo! Look at that. It's like it's gold mine ammo. That's why. You always save a node. Always save a node because of that. Right, so now we gotta move these beds.
Okay. <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> I'm sorry. I like every time I see that scene, it, it cracks me up. The first time I played it, I saw that. I was, I, I just couldn't help but just, I, it cracked me up so much. It's so funny. Um, nav card. There we go. We're about to have a, another. We're about to have a visitor. There will be no escape for you, my friend. You have been most resourceful up until now, but my creation is free. Reborn in the fierce heat of life itself. Now I play your card. out oh god oh god pick the baby Starting to lay in the damage. I'm gonna have to freeze him one more time, so. Fuck up, lady. Okay, I bypassed the lock. Get out of there. Excellent work, Mr. Clark. Excellent work. Now, come and meet me in the executive area. The door is unlocked. Be quick. Isaac, be careful with Dr. Kine. A lot of what I've discovered so far has come from his records. The man has clearly gone insane. He might be unstable, maybe even violent. You little bitch. All right, let's see here. Go ahead and sell the large. I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna keep one. Oops. I'm gonna keep one because I'm gonna use it. Alright. And then, um. I guess I'll just buy a single. Power node, just in case there's any doors we have to unlock. You know. I don't know why I did that. Alright, so now we can go in here, because if we go in here, this door would be locked. Um, so there's no point. But now it's open, so here we go. Alright, Kine, I'm here. Start talking. Apparently. I know you want to repair the executive shuttle and leave this place, but escape is impossible at this point. Um, I would count me out. The shuttle shock point drive is destroyed. No, 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 no. Don't lose hope. Don't lose hope. At first, 
I lost hope. I, I tried to scuttle the ship, sabotage the systems. But Amelia, oh, she changed things. The church, they think the Margaret is divine. Hey, but they don't know what's happened here, what's been released. Look, 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 look. Yeah, but what if they did, though? Fantastic. Now, it's what we found in the core of the planet. Mercer calls it the hive mind. It's the source, controlling the necromorphs telepathically. We were so stupid. But Amelia, she knew, she knew it could be stopped by returning the marker to the planet. The marker was containing it within the planet. Return the marker and seal the hive mind. Please. What are you gonna make me? I'm sorry, Amelia. I bear much of the responsibility for this tragedy. Now, I must take responsibility for ending it. And atone for my sins. But you can help me. If you repair the shuttle and bring the marker back on board, we can end this. Forever. Okay. Giant motherfucker. Behind my. I'm sure y'all know what's coming. <laughs> I'm sure y'all know what's coming. But, uh, yeah. So the hive mind is basically the thing that was inside the planet. Oh, look at all the people who were once captain of the ship. All look like a bunch of goddamn scumbags. There's Dracula, and uh, just a random, uh, probably, he looks like he'd probably be Japanese, based on the ship Ishimura. This guy, um, he's, he looks like he could be like Samoan, or um, he could be African. Um, I, like the, I like the hair. We have a woman, of course. She looks, she actually kind of has Indian features. We have... <laughs> <laughs> Tony Stark is an old man. <laughs> it's Tony. That's old Tony Stark. And uh, this guy's totally Indian. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, that uh, that head wrap. That's like really extravagant. It's got the CEC logo on it. I done warned you. So this is the, uh, this is like basically the, um, the captain's quarters. Um, and all of these, uh, these little shards, these are all of pieces of different planets they've collected. So like every time they crack a planet, they take a shard and they put it in, in a thing like this. Um, but this is where like the captains have slept. This is where like the important people go. And there's like nice artwork. And things for me to smash. You know? Health that I... I guess I need. Maybe? Mm. Something on the ground there. So in here... Another Captain audio log. log. Personal. I want to set the record straight. By the time this log is heard, my actions will have been vindicated. I'm a unitologist. By now, yeah. it's probably no secret that we shouldn't be in this star system. Yep. Just another illegal mining job for the company. That is until the gold Nishimura found right there. the marker. That was when the church took an interest and chose me to lead this pilgrimage. They Tax also log, ensured we'll come back many of the mission crew were devout. 
My primary instruction was to get the marker up from the colony and on board the ship. Dr. Kine, the CSO, is an expert on the original marker and was tasked with deciphering this new one. He says he's making good progress. My decision to quarantine the colony is now. We've got some kind of epidemic down there and I can't allow it to infect the ship. Not with such precious cargo. Not when we are so close. Planet Crack takes place tomorrow. We'll continue to decipher the marker, and when we return home, we'll pass all our findings and the marker to the church. The government isn't going to cover this one up. Altman be praised. See, so basically, this is kind of where the story kind of rounds out, and you kind of figure out kind of the whole aspect. So basically, what they did was they came to this planet, they dug a hole, a small one, and they found a marker. Um, in doing so, they thought, well, this planet must be fantastic. They cracked the planet, found out it was full of minerals, and and just packed to the brim with energy and everything they needed. Like, yes, this is exactly what they need. Unbeknownst to them, opening the planet unleashed the fucking beast that was inside the planet. Because they're dumb. Tax log. Personal log, uh, D. White. Goddamn unis are running the ship. Known so far. So these are all the people who are unitologists on the ship. Of course, we know Mercer, the dickhead. Uh, Kine, who doesn't want to be part of the church anymore. And Captain Matthias. So. So somebody, somebody made a list of the unis, of the unitologists on the ship. I don't blame them. I would too. I would want to know. I wouldn't trust him. All right. So here we are. Um, we have to go put the discs in, but first I'm gonna grab all the shit from the ground here. Line racks. Energy, big ass health kit, small ass health kit. All right, so now we'll go stick the nav discs in here. Excellent, excellent. Wait there for me. I'm on my way. And then we come in here. We have to do a test fire of the uh, of the engines. Test firing shuttle engines. Alright, so now all we really have to do is wait for him. Uh, we have to get him right here in the middle so that we can test fire the engines on him. And that'll just burn him to an oblivion. Another one. Probably coming through one of these. Now we can release stack docking clamps. Oh well. Hello, kind. Still time to make things rough. The shuttle needs to be released before launch. The control platform there. I need you to guide the undocking procedure while I start the shuttle's engines. No, right. go after Kine. I'll take the shuttle up to the flight deck where the marker's being held. Whee! Alright, at least Doc 
fucking clamps. I'm en route to the flight deck. Meet me there and we can load the marker on board. Yes, Amelia. Soon we'll take it home. See, so. I don't know if kind is crazy or not, but we need that shuttle. Let's keep him on our side. For now. See, as you know earlier, she saw her brother. Uh, we've been seeing, like, images of Nicole, um, but the thing is, is he's also seeing someone. He's seeing Amelia. Your time has come. No need to be frightened. No reason to fight. Oh, there's Benjamin Matthias. Many I totally never saw that. Us, and now it's time for us to take the voyage together. Transcend death. The future take its course. Join me. As I gaze upon the face of God. Yes, please die. <laughs> he lets that thing fucking kill him. There's just not enough stomps. Kill that bastard. I don't think I have any to use, do I? Do I? No. Okay. Okay, well. Now we can head back down. Head up and out. Oh, I missed. I missed something. Alright, so now. That's it. That's chapter 10, people. Chapter 10 is done. So now we're gonna save it as usual. And, uh. Next time. We will do be doing chapter 11. Uh, we're going to be heading to the flight deck um, to move the marker. Um, we're going to be kind of heading back to we're going to be heading back to the beginning to where we kind of started at. Um, and uh, we're going to uh, go and get the marker. You're going to see the marker for the first time, the actual one. So. All right, well, thank you all for joining me. Uh, and I will see you all on the next part. Goodbye.